All right, so I have my recycled paper right here, okay? I also have my baby monitor because my child is sleeping and I got to keep an eye on her. Finally, she's taking a nap. And I also have my trusty ice peach green tea lemonade with me. And I'm going to take a sip right about now. Perfect. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna make some paper airplanes. These are all um, really funky little planes that I'm gonna show you how to make. And I'm gonna do it step by step, so I'm not gonna go through it really fast. I'm not gonna do a little time lapse on this. I'm actually gonna go step by step. So pay attention. Your paper doesn't have to be recycled, but it does have to be rectangular. You're gonna want that for this paper airplane. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start first by taking this corner and folding it down so that this edge right here matches up with this edge right here. You want them to be parallel to one another, lined up completely. And then we're gonna go down this line nice and neat because we don't wanna push it from this direction and then this line comes undone, okay? What we wanna do is slide it this direction, okay? So boom, now I got a nice crease on there you wanna just get a nice crease, okay? We're not gonna leave it folded exactly like this, but we do need this crease to be um, nice and hard. So I'm just gonna rub my fingers on it a couple more times just to make sure that it's really, really creased up. Now, another way you could do this is you could open this part up and you could fold the next part down. But the easiest way that I've seen to do it and that I've ever done it is by taking this and making the top into a triangle. You're gonna bring this point down and again, I'm not gonna push from this direction down. I'm gonna try to crawl my fingers over, being neat about my edges because that stuff makes a difference. I know a lot of people struggle with making origami and it's mostly just because they don't get their creases right and they let their paper shift as they're doing their creases. If your creases are correct, usually it'll just pop right into place. So I know this is a paper airplane making um, video, but it's basically the same as origami. You're using a series of folds to create a shape. So it's the identical thing. What I'm gonna do now is open this up. You see there's a point right here. This part wants to fold in already, right? So like that, that immediately wants to fold in. That's basically what you wanna do with this one too. So I'm gonna fold this one in and it might be helpful to actually go in and fold this part. I'm just gonna crease that part like that. That way it just folds right in like that. You see that? So now, I could put my hands inside of there so it looks like this, okay? Now, I'm gonna flatten that down, nice and neat, okay? I want the top to be pointy, so again, I'm gonna slide it like this and then slide this down. Look how nice and neat all my little edges are. Everything lines up pretty neatly. Boom, boom, and boom, boom. Super neat, okay? Like so. So now, it looks like a little house. Little tiny house, do, 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 do and it's got this little fold in it, right? So these pieces go on the inside. Now we got these extra little flappies right here. Flap, 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 flap. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold these up. Anything I do to one side, it's an airplane, so it's gonna be symmetrical. Anything I do to the one side means I also wanna do it to the other side. And the more you do these things, you actually do remember them. These are these are airplanes that I remembered and learned how to do when I was in high school, probably even younger than that. I might have been in seventh grade or so. But I learned how to do these a long, long time ago and I still know them from memory. So the more you do them, the better you're gonna get at it and the easier it becomes. So I folded these up so it's got this diamond shape here, but these are still sticking up a little bit. What I wanna do now is the same thing that I did before when the paper was like this and I wanted one edge to meet the other, I want this edge right here to meet this edge. So what I'm gonna do is bring that over so that the bottom is a point, okay? So it's gonna be a triangular shape, like so, okay? And since I did it to the one side, again, symmetry, I have to do it to the other side as well. So I'm gonna fold that piece in also, okay? like so. Crease that really nice. You got to make sure that you're putting a little bit of pressure into these creases so that they stay nice and neat, okay? Now I have these little pieces right here, okay? These little pieces, if I turn this, you'll see I have tiny 
little pockets right here. You see those little pockets that are created? There's a little pocket right here. What I wanna do is kinda of jam this piece into there. Sometimes I fold it first, sometimes I just shove it in. It really depends on my mood that day. But try a couple of different versions. I'll do both versions here so you guys can see it. So that's one way to do it, where you just kinda of stuff it in. It does fit in pretty neatly because if your creases are correct, it's got the same shape. So it'll fold in perfectly, like so. The other way I do it is by folding it like this first. So you see I've made this little triangular piece here. I'll bring it a little closer. I fold it down so that it looks like that. And then I take that part and I'll tuck it in. But you wanna make sure that you open this part up first. Your fingers are probably smaller than mine. If they're not, then you could still do this project. If they are, you have a little bit more room to be able to fit your finger into that space. So now fold that down. Really, it does not look any different. So if you prefer this one, do it that way. If you prefer it like this, do it that way. Try both, see what you like. Now I'm gonna fold this part down like so. And again, we have the same situation here. I have two tiny little pockets here. This one is gonna go into this pocket right here. But you might wanna open these first because they're both gonna go into the pocket. So this one goes into this pocket and this one goes into this pocket. I like to do them at the same time so that when I press it down, it kind of evens itself out a little bit, like so. There we go. It's not perfect. This little guy's, there we go, that's a little bit better. So now, it looks like this. We're pretty close to the end. I'm gonna go in and crease these again, make sure they're nice and neat. Then, I'm gonna take this side right here and I'm gonna fold it to the center. And you'll never guess what the next step is. OMG, you're totally right. We're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. Perfect, like so. The last steps, we're gonna take this, fold it outward like this. Schwong. Same thing here. Schwong. Now we have A perfect glider plane. I will take this outside to show you how to throw it in a little while. Hey, so I'm in my backyard and I got my paper airplane and you actually hold it like this. You don't hold it upside down like this. You hold it like this, okay? And that's how you're gonna actually throw it. So it's got a little curvature, you see that? When I hold it, it's got a little curve, but when I let it go, it'll flatten itself back out and it'll give it a good glide. So I'm gonna back up a little bit and I'm gonna throw it and we'll see what it does. So you might have noticed how difficult it is to actually take a video of someone flying a paper airplane, especially if you're doing it by yourself. But as I was doing it, it was making all these cool loops that you guys couldn't see because it was a little too high up. You want to throw it a little bit high up and see what it does. But it's a glider plane. It should give you a little bit of distance. It's kind of got a cool glide. If you want to draw on the paper first, you could do that. There's so many ways that you guys can do this. You could turn it into a game if you have a sibling in your house. Um, 
if you just want to do like an X marks a spot kind of thing, wherever it lands, you, you know, dig something or, you know, turn it into a game of your own kind. Or you could just also fly paper airplanes and kind of think they're cool. I kind of just fly them and think they're cool. Subscribe.